Hello everyone! Welcome to another video. So we're going to start this video with me unboxing this bag. And also I have lots of goodies in this Harrods box. So amazing things. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. This is probably one of my favourite things of the season. The most ideal, lost my balance, the most ideal autumn, winter blazer. Look at the silhouette. I'm trying to show you the silhouette. It's like boxy and flary. Look at the sleeves. I absolutely love it. I'm going to shoot this when I've got a lovely mink cashmere knit on as well. So I'm going to leave all the details to what I'm wearing. All the details to what I'm wearing in the description box and then I'll do a whole haul, a proper haul of all my clothes. So if you want to see more of this and how I'm styling it, just stay tuned for the next video. But for now, let's open everything here. Now these, let me just show you. I always talk too much, don't I? I have already tried these on, just to make sure they fit. And I did the cutaway wearing my jogging bottoms, it's like my knitted jogging bottoms. But that is literally how I wear them. Of course, when I fit into my, let me really show you them. I'm going to show you the nice cutaway that I filmed. Chanel biker boots. Um, ideally, I would love to wear these. They look great with skirts and skirts and dresses, but they look really great with skinny jeans. And my favourite are a pair of skinny leather leggings. I unfortunately do not fit into my leather leggings at the moment because I'm still got my um, baby bod, but. Um, I can wear these with my like my black yoga pants, leggings, and no one's going to really know the difference. Um, so here they are. I normally prefer the ones that are slightly higher, and if they had done these in a slightly higher style, I definitely would have bought those. I have one pair already like that. Um, and this is why I, I try not to buy Chanel boots, but I end up buying one a year. So I'll talk you for the ones that I have. My first pair that I ever had, they look very similar to this, and they're a size 38 and a half, which I'm no longer. I'm more 39 and a half now. I've gone up for like 39, 39 and a half. And they're extremely heavy. I said this about Bauman the other day, how the Bauman leather jackets used to be so heavy to be luxurious and have that feel expensive, and they are expensive, but I feel like they, they were too uncomfortable, and I feel like this is with Chanel as well, the boots were so heavy, whereas these are a lot lighter, but they still feel nice quality, so I'm pleased to say that they're lighter, they definitely are more comfortable, um, then I have my pearl ones that do have a slight heel, and I must admit, I don't love these. I feel like every time I go to put them on, they're too busy. I have to wear them with like an all black outfit or all denim outfit, and even then I feel a bit flashy. I do like them, but it's probably the one of the rare things I bought on an impulse, and I, I'm normally really good, and I did buy them on an impulse, and I'm not the biggest fan of, of them. They're probably my least favorite. Then I have my other heel ones that have the small CC. I absolutely love them. I get so much wear out of them. Um, I feel like they really elongate my leg. And then have the flat ones with the gold zip at the sides, which are very different to these. So I feel like they're not biker boots. They're just black boots. Um, and then I have my pearl boots like this. So the pearl boots are very much like this in terms of the little detail. These have the pearl detail. Um, and they're the same ankle kind of height. 
So when I saw these, I loved them and thought, no, nope, I'm not buying them. I have more than enough Chanel boots. I'm not buying them. But then I just buckled, basically. And I did have a few hundred to spend on my rewards, my Harrods reward card. I got these from Harrods. I got them shipped to me, which was very easy. Um, and it kind of just pushed me over the edge because I bought my yellow classic flap. Can you see it? I think it's there. And then I got a lot of points and I used those points. And then stupid me, it's my birthday tomorrow and, or in two days. And I bought these, I bought the bag, which was five and a half thousand. And then I get an email saying, oh, it's your birthday, you have double points. When I've done all of my shopping. So maybe I'll buy some bits tomorrow. I'm gonna pop, do a bit of shopping tomorrow, only a little bit, but I'm probably gonna get some bits for Honoré, not myself. Um, I'm certainly not going to spend this amount of money. So that was annoying that I did that. But that was one of the reasons why I bought these boots. Because I had all those money, all that, all those points to spend. Not that much, but, but I really like them. I love the CC detail on the front. It's there, but still discreet. Um, these remind me of the cuffs that they always do. So if you do have one of those cuffs, this is a really, really nice. Um, they just have everything, really, don't they? They have the quilting, the classic quilting. A nice CC logo on the side. They're very light. And I'm sure that, I mean, they'll go so great with this outfit. So just all black. It's just standard knitwear, coat or blazer. I just think you can't really go wrong with them. And they are comfortable. Um, so that's that. Next. Oh, I have another pair of boots that I ordered. They were, I, they were meant to come today, but I presume they're going to come tomorrow. I'll definitely insert a cutaway. <laughs> Bottega Veneta boots um, and just to touch on now this isn't a whole dupe video of course but I just want to touch upon something I wanted these Bottega boots um, and I was choosing between the Bottega or the Mew Mew boots so I'll insert a picture or something of me in the Mew Mew boots I ended up going for the Mew Mew boots which I have a 10% discount and I think it ends today so hopefully you can still use that one um, I ended up going for these because I thought they were less of a trend piece and I love them and I'm really pleased that I chose them. I feel like they're very flattering because they're like moon boots almost. They make my legs appear slimmer. I've told you all about that. And I chose them because they're not a trend piece where the Bottega is very much a trend piece at the moment. It's a trend brand, like an it, bag, an it, it brand at the moment. So because I'm not the huge fan of the it pieces and the trend pieces, although I loved the Bottega ones, I went for the Mew Mew ones, which I'm still happy I did that. Um, then I had Louise Viaroma points to spend and you have to spend a certain amount now so there wasn't too much I wanted without spending extreme and I just thought you know what I'm going to get the Bottega boots but this is what I did different so you'll see in the cutaway I went for the ones with the brown at the bottom near the sole and the reason why I did this is because now you can get these Bottega boots as dupes on the high street great if you, if you have them or you want to look for a pair of dupes, there's like Zara do some great ones. There's actually quite a few, so if I can remember, I'll link some below. Um, and I always go for the dupes if I find a good dupe. However, what I tend to get a lot of messages, and I do relate because I'm both sides, I love a good... If I, if I find something great on the high street, I'm going to save myself money. But I also like to invest in beautiful pieces as well, so I do both. Um, I get a lot of people say to me, okay, well, you're saying about dupes and la 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 la, but what about the people that spend £900 on a pair of boots and then you can get them in Zara for £70? It completely ruins it for someone that's saved up and spent all their money on these pair of boots. And I completely agree. So the tip that I use to avoid this is if you can get them on the high street, get them on the high street. If you don't want to and you do even want the plain black boots, know two things. One, if you buy them the original ones, the designer ones, especially when it comes to shoes, the quality is going to be so much better. 
So even if you've bought your Black Bottega boots and then Zara brings out a pair for £70, there are going to be differences. You are going to be able to tell the difference. And the quality is going to be so much better. They're going to be more comfortable. They're going to last longer. I'm just looking at the time because I know it's going to cut out. Um, so don't stress yourself out too much about too much about it. It's happened to me so many times where I've bought, you know, a Max Mara coat and then High Street has done dupes and it's going to happen. But just know, and I know because I have duped Max Maras, the quality, there's no comparison. My Max Mara is like a heated duvet. It's the quality is so amazing. It truly is so warm. I've never been cold in that coat. Whereas with my other ones, it's just like your standard coat and, you know, I'm cold because the quality is not as good. It looks great, but it's not as good. So don't stress. The other tip is what I've done. Go for something where you can see that it is Bottega. So there's not a huge logo, but the brown, the shade of brown, the way that they've done the design aspect of the brown, it's Bottega. So that's what I did. I didn't go for the plain black. I went for one with the slight design detail that I feel like I got my money's worth because I did buy these boots. So I'll leave the link to those below. I can't wait to wear them. Like I love this blazer. I literally feel like it's going to be one of the best investments. It just goes with everything. And it's so, so warm as well. So I'll leave that below. Now the first thing, I want to show you is my new Bambi jumper. How amazing is this? I'm a huge fan of anything Bambi. And it has the Bambi on the back, which I absolutely love. It's literally just the back of the Bambi. Um, I got medium in this, and I would say it's pretty much true to size. I think I prefer things a lot baggier, so I would have gone for a large, but it fits fine, it's true to size. It's just that I prefer things big. And the quality is really, really nice. Next, I have, I've showed you my ring, haven't I? It's um, my C initial ring, and I also have the necklace as well. I literally wear it every day, I love it. I found, um, actually the designer, Matteo, I asked him how he keeps the, them clean, because they have like a gap at the back, and he showed me a jewellery cleaner, which was so cheap, and I'm going to link it for you below, because it was amazing, just for all your jewellery. Now these... Um, I wouldn't say I'm a sneakerhead, whatever they call themselves, but I do like my trainers. And these are very unusual. Do you know, I don't even know anything about these. I think these are the Pharrell Williams. I think they're the collaboration, but they're the Adidas. This is your classic Adidas. Fit true to size, and I just loved the two-tone of the, the beige. The, two, the cream and the beige. I loved it. Um, and I think I fell in love with the neon laces, because they're pastel neon. And net a have an exclusive collaboration with Bauman and they have a jacket in this colour and I really want it. Um, I'll link it below. Their exclusive Bauman collection with net a -Portay. They do it every year. It's always amazing and I think this year is my favourite. So I'll link the pieces below. But that, I had that in my head. I saw these and I think because I didn't buy the Bauman jacket I bought these. But I love them. They just look so chic in the two-tone beige. And they do come with the cream laces. So I think these are nice for summer, um, and I think these are more like autumn vibes. So I like it that you've got the two different laces, and I just like them. I love them actually. I've tried them; they fit true to size. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh, I think only one more thing. Yeah, one more thing. So this was. Um, something I saw on Instagram, I love finding brands on Instagram, this is a brand called House of Sunny, now, and I got the matching top as well, just because I just, you know, why not, if, I didn't want the cardigan to be gaping, and I wanted to just make sure it went nice together, I want, if I wanted to wear it open basically, and it's got a lovely beautiful back, um, detail on the back, now, the price was, this was £39, and then I paid around £80 for this, the shipping was really expensive, it was something crazy, like £28, and then it did come off when I paid for it, so I'm not sure what happened there. Um, the quality of this, when you pick it up, you can feel that it's not, I'm just going to use Zara again, because it's just, we all shop at Zara. You can tell the quality is nicer than Zara, it's definitely been made nicer than it was at Zara, but for the price, I was quite disappointed in the fabric, because it's mostly polyester. With that said... £80 is not so bad 
for, for knitwear and they it is really really soft and the faux fur is extremely soft and it's really nice to wear so overall i do think that 80 pound is worth it purely because it's so unique and the fur is like a lot of fur and you can take it off and i like pom 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 wrist i love it so for this bit alone and the uniqueness of it and the fact that if this was in zara the fur would be really basic it would not be soft like this so overall, I'm happy with the £80 that I paid. I do think it's worth it for the uniqueness and the softness. But I would rather pay £40, £50 more and it not have any polyester in. I think that's just what I am. Um, Peggy Cardigan. That's a cute name. So yeah, I think it's just I'm drawn, so drawn to lemon these days. And I'm glad I got the cord, the, the vest for underneath because it's cute to wear it together. It's quite nice of this because this is so oversized and boxy I could actually wear this and have this over the blazer. So that's all, they're all my bits that I bought. I have a Zara haul for you, um, and eight, I bought a few things from H&M. What else do I have? And I have a luxury haul where I've got this, these, I'll show you how I style these, and now I've got a lot, lot more stuff as well. So I'll leave everything that I'm wearing below, all the details, all the links, all the size reference, everything will be below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.